the ninth planet in our solar system, Pluto, resides a staggering 7 billion kilometers away from the Sun. Although once deemed a full-fledged planet, Pluto's status has shifted to that of a trans-Neptunian object. A pivotal moment came when NASA launched the New Horizons mission to explore this enigmatic realm. The treasure trove of data collected left the scientific community astounded, leading to the release of a series of never-before-seen images of Pluto by NASA. Today, we invite you on a voyage of discovery as we delve into the enigmatic features of one of the solar system's most intriguing objects. Imagine disembarking from a spacecraft onto the dark and unknown surface of Pluto. As you step out, a faint gleam of sunlight pierces the obscurity, casting an eerie glow across the vast landscape. This desolate realm boasts a unique terrain, where strangely delicate rock formations stand out against the dimly lit backdrop. The stillness is profound, a result of the feeble gravitational pull of the planet. Moving here requires a delicate balance, for Pluto's gravity is only a mere 0.063 times that of Earth. Every step becomes an act of floating, as if carried by the wind. A simple task like bending to gather a rock sample becomes a substantial endeavor. After a short exploration, it's time to retreat to the safety of the space capsule, armed with newfound samples from this alien world. Years of intensive training have prepared you for this mission Yet nothing can fully ready you for the strange sensation of walking on a planet with such low gravity and an icy frozen surface. Standing on this small, icy orb that lies far from the sun evokes a sense of awe. Yet this journey is fleeting, constrained by the harsh surface temperature, which hovers below an astonishing negative 351 degrees Fahrenheit. Before you leave, you capture a few final images of the sun akin to the early days of exploring Pluto. Throughout the day, the sun remains a faint, distant object, casting an almost perpetual twilight upon this corner of the solar system. The transformation of Pluto from being the ninth planet since 1930 to its reclassification as a dwarf planet in 2006 marked a significant scientific shift. The demotion of Pluto from planetary status was met with mixed reactions, as it ushered in a new era of understanding our celestial neighborhood. Pluto's designation as a trans-Neptunian object, a term that encompasses various newly discovered objects in the outer solar system, raised questions and fueled debates. Aries and Sedna, smaller entities than Pluto, added to the complexities of defining a planet. The re-evaluation was based on Pluto's resemblance to trans-Neptunian dwarf planets, which led to its new name. TNO-134-340 Despite its reclassification, Pluto's allure persisted and even intensified. Initial imagery captured by the Hubble Space Telescope portrayed Pluto as a vague, brownish disk with no discernible surface features. To gain deeper insights, NASA embarked on the New Horizons mission, as traditional telescopes and remote observation fell short. The journey of New Horizons spanned nearly a decade, finally reaching Pluto in 2015. Swiftly initiating its mission, New Horizons amassed a trove of data, though transmitting this treasured trove back to Earth took over a year. The analysis of this data unveiled Pluto's vibrant and dynamic nature, defying its earlier perception as a dull, lifeless world of rock and ice. The unexpected discovery of geological activity on Pluto shattered the notion of it being an inactive body. The data gathered not only provided insights into Pluto's internal structure, but also revealed its core composition, enveloped by layers of rock and water ice. The icy crust, with a potential thickness of up to 186 kilometers, might conceal a subsurface ocean enriched with dissolved ammonia. What distinguishes Pluto from Earth is its unconventional geological composition where nitrogen, methane, and carbon monoxide crystals take center stage, replacing the traditional reliance on water, ice, and rock. Let's now shift our gaze to one of Pluto's most striking features, Tombaugh Regio. This prominent equatorial expanse, which appears heart-shaped, spans an impressive 25% of Pluto's surface. Within Tombaugh Regio lies Sputnik Planitia, a region defined by nitrogen ice, 
carbon monoxide, and solid methane. These compounds cast vivid colors that reflect up to 90% of incoming light, creating a visually striking spectacle. This region, boasting minimal craters, hints at its relatively young age, having formed around 100 million years ago through a colossal impact event. Shifting our attention, we encounter Pluto's southern hemisphere, where a massive valley is encircled by towering ice ridges and boulders. The presence of these structures is indicative of cryovolcanism, a process distinct from the traditional volcanism we observe on Earth. Eruptions in this icy realm have shaped the surrounding landscape over time, providing researchers with a unique opportunity to learn about Pluto's inner composition and history. Moving eastward, we encounter the maculae, dark patches that leave scientists puzzled. Their inky appearance may be attributed to the effects of impact craters and complex organic compounds called tholins, formed by high-energy radiation acting on simple molecules in celestial atmospheres. Our journey takes us further north to Lowell Regio, a sprawling valley that encompasses Pluto's North Pole. The brightness of this region is influenced by Pluto's axial tilt causing its North Pole to be consistently illuminated by the sun's rays. Despite its increasing distance from the sun, Pluto's atmosphere has grown threefold over three decades, a phenomenon attributed to the evaporation of nitrogen ice under the sun's influence. A peculiar celestial dance unfolds as Pluto orbits the sun. This intricate ballet is orchestrated by its moon, Charon. The larger of the two, Charon, possesses a surface that is darker than Pluto's. However, images captured by New Horizons reveal the presence of water ice, methane, and nitrogen on its surface, a clear indication of geological activity. Charon's unusual characteristics invite us to further explore the mysteries of this moon and its relationship with its parent planet. Pluto's role as a cosmic enigma persists, standing as a symbol of the unknown in the vastness of space. Its transformation from a planet to a trans-Neptunian object has revealed unexpected truths, offering us a chance to uncover the complexities of our solar system. The audacious New Horizons mission and the invaluable data it collected have granted us a fleeting glimpse into the intricate beauty and intricate workings of this distant world. Pluto's story serves as a poignant reminder that the universe remains replete with mysteries, waiting for us to unravel their secrets and deepen our comprehension. As we continue to explore the cosmos, Pluto remains a testament to the ever-present surprises that lie beyond our comprehension, driving us to push the boundaries of our knowledge further. What aspects of Pluto's transformation and the discoveries made by the New Horizons probe intrigue you the most? And what do you think these revelations might mean for our understanding of the broader universe? Engage with us by leaving a comment, subscribing to our channel, and clicking the notification bell for regular updates. Keep watching, stay inspired, and get ready for more exciting discoveries. See you in our next episode.